Today's lesson in the Bible show is Jesus was and is hated. Uh, Haters. Still is. is. Hate it. Still you, is. You know how you always hear, oh, Jesus is love. He yeah. just loves everybody. There are some scriptures. I, this, I, I pointed this to Jesus being hated, not Jesus hating. But there are some scriptures where Jesus says, like, uh, I only pray for those that you gave me, talking to the Father. I do not pray for the world. Love not the world. Um, but this lesson is actually pointing out the people that actually hated Jesus. Uh, he was hated in the past. He's hated today by people in the world today. Uh, we're going to start this out in John chapter 15 and verse 18. John 15, verse 18. If the world hate you, this is Jesus talking to his disciples. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. So Jesus knew that he was hated. Do you ever hear any preachers read this scripture? Mm, I, don't, I can't say because I don't go to Sunday churches. I'm, all the time I went to Sunday church. I don't, well, very few scriptures that I ever hear read I've anyway. Heard, I, <laughs> So, okay, if you put it in that sense, yeah, I've heard it in the past. I haven't heard this, have, haven't heard people read the scripture. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. I've heard it. I've heard it past. I, was, really? I think it was, yeah, my mom passed. I, I believe he went over that. Okay, good. Yeah. But then he went off into his oh. own stuff. <laughs> okay. Verse 19. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate you. So not only is this lesson going to be about Jesus being hated, but about the followers of Jesus being hated as well. Jesus, not only was Jesus hated, his disciples were hated. Even today, the followers of Jesus are hated, even by people that say that they love Jesus. Not the real Jesus. They love that other Jesus, the one that was born on December 25th. That's not the Jesus of the Bible. Verse 20, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will, ye, will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. So Jesus is telling his disciples, you're going to be hated because you're bringing the true word. Basically is what he's saying. No, we don't like the truth. No, we don't. We like a lie, uh, fabricate, fabricated lies, fables, um, fabrications. Yeah, just uh, don't give me the truth. Up, mm -hmm. Just don't hurt me with the truth. Verse twenty-two: If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not they they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. So basically, what he's saying: He came with the true word of God, not this traditions of man that they were dealing with back here and he exposed them for the sinners that they were and they didn't like that they don't have any cloak anymore they can't hide this is out there it's kind of like um julian assange today when he exposes the rich and the powerful hiding their money and all these uh, corrupt congress corrupt government officials and kings and powerful people in business he exposes all that stuff and they don't like it so they're trying to get rid of him julian assange look him up if you ever heard of him you ever heard of Julian Assange? He was the one that was in the embassy in London. He was in the, the Ecuadorian embassy in, in London. Um, and he was in there for like, what, seven years or something? And then they finally went in the uh, Ecuador. He was a, a citizen. He became a citizen of Ecuador in the Ecuadorian embassy in London. Ecuador elected a new president who was not the liberal president or the left-leaning president that the previous president was. And he was like, yeah, go get him. And turns out that while uh, Ecuador has like some kind of agreement with uh, the United States, maybe for their oil reserves or whatever it is, whatever the United States promised him. So they wanted to shut up Julian Assange as well. But he's exposing, he's the one that the WikiLeaks information about the Hillary Clinton emails came out on. That was Julian Assange. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Verse 23. And also, I okay, just wanted to. Yeah. Um, Elaborate about those emails, you guys. Um, uh, did the public ever was were, was the public ever revealed about those emails? Because there was some mess going on with Hillary Clinton <laughs> regarding those emails. Yeah, 
it, it wasn't all fabricated. It wasn't all for nothing. It was really some deep stuff in her emails and behind those emails. I don't know if it, it was like over 30,000 emails. And she heard got rid of them. Said, that woman is something else, you guys. You you guys just got to look it up. It wasn't just her either. It was like it was like John Podesta emails to her and the whole Democratic whole Democratic Party, basically. Not yeah, uh, it was just it just exposed a lot. I don't think everything actually came out. I still think they're sitting on stuff. Yeah, she's she's part of Pizzagate too. Yeah, well she is. yeah, uh-huh. That's what part of her emails was about. That's why she really hurried up and got rid of them. I don't have a whole lot of information on pizza. I read it. <laughs> I read her in it. <laughs> Verse 23. He that hateth me hateth my father also. So if you hate Jesus, that means you hate the father. And right here, how many, how many is that? He that hateth me, that's one. He hateth my father also, that's two. The God hateth of two, not the Trinity. Verse 24. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in the law in their law. They hated me without a cause. Now, the name of this lesson is Jesus was and is hated. Sounds like he's hated here, right? Very much. Sounds like he's hated. Now, this even I, I didn't get, without a cause at that. Yeah, I don't really go back. I and, mean, just like today, what we go through, what I go yeah. through all the time. Yeah, from women, <laughs> <laughs> just calling it like it is. Yeah, <laughs> now, I didn't really go into like a whole lot of uh, like the, the prophets, but actually, Jesus is the God of the Old Old Testament. That's a whole nother lesson. We did that before, but when the word was brought to the children of Israel, the true word was brought by the prophets. They hated that. That's the word of God that they're hating on. Read the book of, uh, I think it's Jeremiah. Say, okay, prophesy. That, tell us what our God wants us to do. And I think they were in Egypt. They, they were going back to Egypt for help or safety or something. And I think Jeremiah told them, don't go back into Egypt. Worship the God of the, the God of Israel. And they were like, nah, we're not going to do that. We're going to keep worshiping the the, mm -hmm. the sun God of Diana or something. Of course, of course. We're going to do what we, we said that, but now we didn't mean it. We're going to keep worshiping our own God that we made up. Mm -hmm. So they 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 don't want to hear they, the real people truth. Don't, they don't want the truth. People don't want the truth. People don't want to even be around people that are truthful and uh, filled with uh, with the uh, I don't want to say the Holy Ghost. You know what I'm saying? But um, have so much righteousness, filled with righteousness. People that's on a level doing righteous. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it's it's like it's like Satan's people. They are on this earth to me. I do feel that. Of course. And then uh, you got people that are following up the, the true God that are on earth. Mm -hmm. And then you could tell. When well, we're all just, on earth. Well, yeah, well, we're, <laughs> yeah, we're on, all on earth. But it just seemed like to me people that's um, um, hatred, are filled with so much hatred, they don't like being around people or in this, even in the same room with someone that's um, living a, a righteous life of being of who's uh, trying to live righteously. Right. And whose spirit inside of them is so close to God because these people over here just call themselves trying to be righteous, but you feel, and, and the Lord talks about that, but you, you're, you're Satan's child. You feel with so much envy and hate, hatred inside of you. Well, you know, the book says uh, that light cannot dwell with darkness. And that in, is in so, so true. That is so true. So true. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, oh, yeah, never mind. That's what I did. I already said it. The, old, <laughs> the prophets in the Old Testament were hated. The word that they were given, the true word of God that they were delivering to the people back then, that was hated on. And there's a bunch of parables. I didn't even go into all the parables that Jesus said, where like the, like, uh, the, 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 uh, the owner of the vineyard went on a journey and gave it to some shepherds to take care of. And they were like, oh, let's kill him and keep it for ourselves. So they hated him then. Psalms chapter 69. And verse four, I'm going to read one scripture, Psalm, Psalm or Psalms. I always say it's the book of Psalms. This is Psalm number 69 and verse four. They that hate me without a cause are more than the hairs of mine head. And who's this talking about? Have you ever heard your pastor read this scripture? No, I've never heard it pastor in the past that I've been to read that scripture. They that would destroy me, being mine enemies wrongfully, are mighty. 
Then I restored that which I took not away. Now, this is this is a, a parable of David writing about the word, writing th the words of Jesus. They that hate me are without a cause is the same thing he said in John. They that would destroy me, be my enemies, wrongfully are mighty. The people of the day, like the, the Pharisees and the Sadducees, they were the rulers of Israel. Well, actually, the Romans were. But they were the rulers of the Israelites there. You know, they had the high offices, the high, they had the high seats. You know, they sat with the judges and the kings and the princes. You know, those were the ministers of the day, the leaders of the people, the leaders of the Israelites. And that's those, and they do got some power. Even today, the ministers of today have some power with the with the governments. They they bump elbows with the, the elected congressmen and elected officials in these United States. Yeah, they do. They come around every election time, and that's it. You see them on TV. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't see me on TV. Oh, <laughs> well, you know what I'm not saying. Group, anyway. You might see me on this Facebook. <laughs> You're not going to see me on CNN. Oh, no. CNN is the worst, by the way. But then, well, I don't know, CNN or MSNBC. Well, yeah. Anyway, um, being our enemies wrong, for we are mighty. Then I restored that which I took not away. Now, he restored life. And it, it wasn't him that took away life. It was actually Adam, Adam's sin. Um, and then threw his wife under the bus saying, hey, she gave me that to eat. Mm -hmm. But anyway, Adam's sin, and then that's why we got the death penalty on, on all of us. Jesus came, and now we have, might have a right to the tree of life if we keep and do his commandments, laws, and statutes. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus chapter 20. This is the Ten Commandments. Exodus chapter 20, verse 1. I'm going to read 1 through 6. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. The land of Egypt, the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, as the very first commandment. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. This is the second commandment or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of, of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me. Jesus is hated. Yes, and this is Jesus giving the commandments right here. Jesus gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Is Jesus talking to Moses right here? And that's in Old Testament. Right? Yes, yeah, Exodus chapter 20. Exodus. Let's read one more. And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. How do you love God? By keeping his commandments. Keep my commandments. Exodus chapter 20, verse 7. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. I just want to throw this in there because people take the Lord's name in vain all the time. What and, and and such is such is like what? Like well, I'm just curious. Gosh darn it, but not gosh darn it. Um <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, something happens and they say Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. I'm gonna throw one more in here. Verse eight. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. The seventh day is the Sabbath day, not the first. Nowhere in this book can you see where it says the Sabbath day is the first day of the week. Nowhere. And look on the calendar. Sunday is the first day of the week. But well, they got calendars now where they got like Monday up there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> well, look what they're about to do for, to uh, Halloween. What are they doing on Halloween? They're about to, they, they, they're putting together a petition to move Halloween from... October to, 31st to, to a Saturday. Make sure that um, it stays on the Saturday, the last Saturday of the month, I believe. What? Yeah, they want to make sure it stays on the Saturday. Oh, guess why? Why? Because they feel that it's, the, it's uh, uh, more for the kid, more enjoyment for the parent. <laughs> wait, wait, for the parent and the kid, their child, the kids to uh, be together more because if it's on a weekday, the parents have to work or whatever, and then when they get home, they just probably send the kids off with the other kids, so it's not 
too much safe, but they feel it's safer on a Saturday. Is it really? They're starting to have Halloween on the Sabbath day. Yeah. It's Saturday a Sabbath night. Day. Right. Well, yeah, that whole Saturday. You're right. You see that? But not only that, it's not going to be more safer because it's more stuff going on on Saturdays. Are you kidding me? And Saturday nights. Yeah, people are going to be really partying for Halloween on Saturday yes. now. They do it anyway. Yeah. You, know, you know, Halloween came from... It's, it's like Yeah, ho hollow, hollow Eve. Oh, no. All Hallows Eve. That's what it is. All Hallows Eve. Eve is like the day before because it's actually November the 1st that the Catholic Church came up with the uh, Saints Day. All oh, Saints Day. I yeah. can't remember what the actual I name it was the of it second, is. November, the no, second, November the 1st. The first. So, yeah, that's all where, Saints so that's where Halloween came it from. Was, uh, post, that's supposed to be before All Saints Day. The Eve, right. The Eve of just all like Saints you, Just like you got your Christmas Eve. So they, they took something that kind of was on a good note and turned it real towards an evil note. It wasn't a good note. <laughs> I, I, that's why I said kind of. You know, you know what me and you, we know the truth. Yeah. But yeah, they but they turned it around to it on an evil note. So look how they're switching the days, about to switch days again. And you can't and this is another thing that tells you that this thing is coming. We're getting closer and closer, closer to and closer to, to the to Lord's when return. Jesus is on his way back. You can truly see it. All these things that are going on. See, and now some of our so not to jump off um, subject, but now some of our soldiers are they're being sent back over where to Afghanistan. Oh, really? I didn't hear that. Oh, yes. They're going back to Afghanistan right now. They're right now, as I speak. You know, I'm hoping somebody like uh, Tulsi Gabbard or Mike Gravel or Bernie Sanders, or some anti-interventionist, gets in there. Uh, Mary Williamson. Gets elected president, maybe they can put a kibosh on these wars. But according to the scripture, you know, the tribulation is coming. It is. Tribulation is coming. That's going to stop it. So we might get some horrid president that pushes us towards war to right. get it done. Exactly. And that's that. I can see that happening. That's mm -hmm. that's going to come. I can definitely see that coming. Maybe if one of them gets elected and uh, the, the, this Republican Congress or the leadership gets turned around, so that they they might be staved off for a little while. Then you might have a little bit of peace before the tribulation, but tribulation is going to come. It's in scripture, and it, it's going to be fulfilled. Sooner or later, it's going to be fulfilled. Oh, it's coming. Mm -hmm. It's got sooner. It ain't going to be later. It's coming sooner. <laughs> Let's go back. Verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Yep. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. So nobody works on the Sabbath day. You're not supposed to. And, and I'm just keep thinking about they, they're going to switch this Halloween to the the last Saturday of the month. And I'm thinking about these babies going to be out here on the Sabbath day. Wow. All right. Psalm. Psalms, Psalm, chapter 9. We're going to read one more, verse 13. Psalm, chapter 9, verse 13. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest me up from the gates of death. Who is this talking about? This is Psalm of David. The words of Jesus Christ by David. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. And he's talking to his father. The father. Consider my trouble. So he's in trouble. They're going to put him on the cross, right? Which I suffer of them that hate me. So the people there hated him. He's hated. They hated him. They hated him so much they wanted to kill him. And they killed him. Well, they killed his shell. No, they killed him. He, and he, but but look, he still rose up and was walking on the face of the earth again. I would have went right back to those people. <laughs> that put me back in it. Oh, you thought you killed me, huh? <laughs> well, it said like some four hundred people saw him. Yes, yes, but you know what? I thought I read that. Um, I thought I read that when he rose up, other dead people that were dead rose up with him. Yeah. 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 yeah that, I, I think I, that's I, at I the end. Uh, the end of Matthew when he uh, when he rose like. Uh, uh, people came. Uh, people that were dead were came back out. They, they loved ones yeah, they saw the loved ones that yeah. were dead from the grave. So, yeah. right. That's but they they all had to go back and die again because again. Um, yeah. that was um, Jesus is the only one that rose and actually became the uh, the new God. Well, God again. He was already God. He came and died, was resurrected, and became God again, and went back to heaven. 
And the book says, no man has gone to heaven or seen the Father except him that come down from heaven. He's the only one. And Lazarus was the first person that he actually raised up from the dead. Well, there's, well actually, he did. But if you go back to the Old Testament, um, uh, Elijah had uh, somebody had died and Elijah resurrected them. Well, he didn't resurrect them. He gave them back life again. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. When he stretched out his arm over a, yeah. a child, I thought. Yeah, so there's scriptures in the Old, in the old Testament. Somebody's child had died. Yeah, yeah I remember. That, scriptures in the Old Testament about the prophets doing stuff like that. So. That's right. That's right. Let's go to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew chapter 10. And we're going to pick it up at verse... 24. Matthew 10, verse 24. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Now, this is Jesus talking to his disciples, and he's going to give them some information here. The disciple is not above his master, nor the servant above his Lord. Let's back up to verse 16. Go back to verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. That means they're going to beat you and whip you in the church. Can you see going to the church today, whipping out your Bible, reading, they hated me without a cause, and the, 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 the people who rise up and saying, don't be coming in here with that blaspheming and start whipping you and beating you up in the church. Can you see people that you thought you knew turning their backs against against mm -hmm. you and doing that to you? But beware of men, you. for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Let's get down to verse 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. So this is like an overthrow. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. So you're going to be hated. He's already hated. Yeah. So much hatred in this world even more it's rising yeah it's rising brother show brother up brother show deliver up the brother some of your brothers are going to turn on you and get you put to death the father the child father's going to turn his kid in so they're going to be more like uh who was who was that when they was coming out towards to jesus and uh that was no that's peter right when he says mm -hmm. uh jesus told him be uh peter you were denying me three times yeah, well, what are you getting at there? Because you said they was gonna. Um, well, we know that Judas turned Jesus in, of mm -hmm. course. So he did exactly what the scripture just you just read in the scripture turned him over. Oh, uh, uh, brother, show deliver up brother. Well, it wasn't his brother, but I see what you mean. Right. So, yeah, they were turning each other. Right. Well, that, in a sense, it was his brother because he was disciple. They they were all brothers. Yeah. In the, in the word, so with the word, should I say? Because he was Jesus was the word walking with them. And so at that moment, Judas um, betrayed him. Judas betrayed him, yeah. Yeah, and well, in a sense, in a sense, Peter, he didn't betray him. He pretty much just didn't. He, he denied, denied him. him. He denied him because he was trying to save himself. Yeah, he didn't want. To, yeah. He wasn't ready to die. I, I guess you know. he got scared. It's like, no, nah, I don't know. I don't right, know who. Right. Wasn't me, man. No, I wasn't. I wasn't hanging out with them. That's you know, see. That <laughs> lets you know. Don't be. Don't open your mouth and put your mouth on something. <laughs> No, Jesus, I won't betray you. Jesus, like, you boy, please, you're going to betray me three times. I'm going to tell you when. <laughs> now that you know, everybody can't walk in your shoes, too. Everybody cannot walk in your shoes. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Today's lesson, Jesus was and is hated. Not just Jesus, but in all the followers of Christ as well. Jesus was and is hated. The disciples were hate, was and is, are hated. Christians today, true Christians of the Bible, are hated. You don't think so? <laughs> Take your yeah, Bible. Some of them are still being killed overseas. Open up your Bible and read it to anybody. Let's see if they don't get away from you. <laughs> <laughs> real, real, open up your Bible in a Sunday church and see if they kick you out. Don't kick you out. Deny Christmas and Easter. See if they don't turn on you. 
You don't think so? Anyway, let's keep going here. We're going to, uh, Jesus wasn't as hated. Let's go to Luke. Luke. Guy Walker. You know what that, I was talking to uh, Eric here. You know, he's like the digital media guy. He was like, I don't know what we were talking about. It. And he, he, read, he made some quote from the last, the last Jedi movie, the last Jedi. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I watched it again. It was like, it wasn't that great, but it wasn't that bad. I was like, you know what? They made Luke so weak in that movie. How could they make Luke Skywalker weak? It's like in the Hulk too. I didn't, I didn't make the Hulk weak. In, Avengers, in the Endgame, Avengers. I was watching the end game last night on Voodoo. Yeah, I'm like, how the Hulk skin is supposed to be not penetrable. Impenetrable. So when he put the glove on with the stones, he all hit the what his right side is all burnt up, arm in a cast. And when right. I thought about it, I was, the I was like, wait a it's minute. It's the Hulk. <laughs> is he, it his skin supposed to be impenetrable? Right, impenetrable. Somebody they, somebody needs to go back and read the comic book. <laughs> Ever, you got some that lets you know that you got somebody sitting up in there, don't even know what they're doing, don't yeah. know what they're doing. But that's what happened in today's world. We put people in position that's not qualified, don't know what they're doing, don't know the job, don't know history of what they're doing, and, and then they just want to put in their own thoughts of it. Well, they make up their own story, yeah. they want to make up their own story and not stick to the storyline. It's like, this is my idea, and it doesn't even make sense. No, nah, it doesn't make sense. But you know that's why I talked about like you know what? The credible, he's a creature. It's, he turns into a creature. Yeah, he turns into the incredible Hulk, whose anger makes him stronger. Right, and so when, when now it, it uh, and then when uh, why are we talk, talking about Avengers well, know, in the Bible? But, but we come, we come, we come. We gotta hurry. I mean, hurry, hurry up. But then just about okay, th going back to his skin is supposed to be imp, imp, impenetrable. impenetrable. He's supposed to heal right away. He's supposed to heal right away, one, which he didn't. And also, um, when he get, when he put the glove, that glove on with the stones and all that electricity was going through him, why he didn't get angry, angry, angry? Yeah. He did not. That's amazing. When they should have gave it to Thor in the first place, like he said, because I made of lightning. <laughs> mm. Oh, he's got a point. Oh, How come they didn't give God. it to Thor? Whoever wrote the script. Why they give it to Iron Man? Who wrote the script? This shouldn't doing? Doctor Strange have like some kind of thing where he can put the spell on his hand before he puts the glove on, you know? Like the spell line. Anyway, we're all off the topic, oh, man. Right. <laughs> this is the Bible show. But that's good. It's <laughs> nice to get off, off topic. But not, just, just to rant a, a little bit. Okay. Let's not get the back. Avenger right. movie. No, but we, we have critique we, show. No, 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 or, that's because we have we. You know, yeah, I got off of it. I started with the Star Wars thing. My fault. We're, we're, we're going to Luke. That's where it's Luke. Skywalker. Who's your father? <laughs> now, this look, Luke your chapter mama. six. This is the. <laughs> <laughs> Luke chapter six. This is the. Uh, this is the. Uh, the B attitudes. B attitudes. Well, this is what they call them. They call them the Beatitudes. That's what man made up. Uh, but that's because you'll see when this is like all the blessed there, the blessed things. So, so Luke chapter 6, verse 20. And he lifted up his eyes on the disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. 21. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you and when they shall separate you from their company, they don't get away from you, and shall reproach you and cast out your name as evil for the son of man's sake. So you stand up for Jesus, they're going to get away from you. They're going to speak evil about you because you're standing up for the true God of man, which is Jesus Christ, the creator of this world. I think when you stand on truth, period. And if this truth, it, people are going to turn against you and be hate hate you and be angered towards you, period. Yeah. 23. Rejoice ye in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven. For in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. It's like I said, the prophets, they came with the word of God and they were hated and they were killed. They were sown asunder. Yeah, sown asunder means 
is cut in half. Twenty four. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. So if you're rich now, and this is not really talking about just because you're rich, you're condemned. Because you know, there's plenty of rich people in the Bible that were righteous people. Like Job, for one. Job, Jacob, David was a king. Solomon was the king of kings. Well, he's like the richest man that ever lived, right. according to the Bible. So just because you're rich doesn't mean you have to be right. What he's talking about here is you can't put all your trust in your riches. That's what this is saying. I understand that. You can't take your riches with you when you die. No, so you better put your, your trust up in heaven. You got that right. <laughs> First, another life after this. Yeah, uh, people don't believe you're it. you're going to go to hell or heaven, it's still another life. And heaven being the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on the earth, by the way. Yeah, That's the lesson that we need to do. That we haven't done that one, the, the heavens. Yeah. Verse 25. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now, for ye shall mourn and weep. No. One more. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. So these false prophets are like, oh, yeah, they're risen up, right? They're giving great accolades. The false prophets that tell people what they want to hear. Get that good news message. But you come with the truth. It's like, okay, this might not be what you want to hear, but this is the truth that will actually help you out. Oh, I don't want to hear that, man. Why are you coming up with that, that, that bad news? It's not bad news. It's truthful news. And, and it, it, it's amazing because um, you can I can actually see now why they were, was out to stone Jesus. Yeah, why they were out to stone Jesus. I could see it. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 32. Proverbs 8, verse 32. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O ye children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction, and be wise, and refuse it not. Blessed is the man that heareth me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall ob obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. All they that hate me love death. So if you're hating on Jesus, you're not going to follow anything that he does, which means you're going to be, right, you're not you're, his command, right? So which means you're going to be your sinner and you're not going to gonna uh, repent from your sins. And you're going to die in your sins and you're going to be condemned to the lake of fire. Yep. Makes sense, Jesus. <laughs> yes, it does. John chapter one, I'm sorry, John chapter seven, John chapter seven and verse one. John chapter 7, verse 1. We're going to read 1 through 7. After these things, Jesus walked in Galilee, for he would not walk in Jewry because the Jews sought to kill him. The Jews sought to kill him. Sound like they hate him to me. Now, the Jews' feast of tabernacle was at hand. Now, wait a minute. We learn, it's like Brother Bowie say, learn something on your way to learn something. The Jews' feast? The Jews' what? feast of feast. tabernacle was at end. They're still keeping feast the feast in the New Testament. It's the New Testament. It's the book of John. Yep. They're keeping the feast of tabernacles. See, that goes to tell you he did not do away with the... Um, holy days. With the holy days, nor the... Oh, God. he Because he only nailed... Oh, he only, the animal sacrifices to the cross. Right. That and the, the law of sin. Right. Exactly. Now, and the Jews' away. feast of... That he did not do away with those feast days. No, he didn't do with the, those feast days. They're still good. Now, the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren, therefore, this is like his, his real brothers. His brethren, therefore, said unto him, depart hence and go into Judea. Because they didn't believe either. They, they're like, oh, you're doing all these miracles and stuff. And you got this word. Well, go on to the, go on there. Now, we already read in verse 1 that he didn't want to go because he knew the Jews were out trying to kill him. It wasn't the time to, to die yet. They were trying to avoid getting killed until it's really the time to, to do it. But it's God. He's going to make it you right. You to avoid. It just wasn't his time. It yeah, but, could, but it turns time, out. It would have been time. Right, but it turns out he went anyway, and we'll get to that. His, he always managed to escape out. <laughs> he's like, walk right through him. Right. <laughs> it wasn't his time. No, it wasn't. Even when it was his time, the people got the, the people that came to get him got scared. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's him. Oh, they backed up. He was like, what you want? He was like, oh, you Jeezy? He was like, yeah. He's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill. Don't kill. Yeah, it's like, come on. Right, because even the demons, when he came, came it took the demons out. Have you come uh, 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 get us before before, before our time? time? He's like, yeah. Even the demons were scared of him. Go on, Jesus. He said. His brethren therefore said unto him, depart hence and go into Judea that, that, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. So they're like kind of like mocking, like, "Yeah, hey, why are you keeping this a secret? Go out there with that word you got." Now these are his brothers, his own natural flesh and blood brothers, saying, "Going up there, man." So he, if they know if you go, you're gonna get killed, right? They think he's gonna get killed, and they try to send them anyway. So he's so, wait, so your brothers hate him? Your flesh yeah. and blood brothers. I always wonder why I, I, I've been seeing this so much, so much, a lot that I see a lot of brothers. They seem to hate on each other way more than sisters. I've seen I've seen brothers be so jealous of each other. I I, I grew up where I knew two brothers got into it, and one mm -hmm. brother stabbed the other, killed him. What? Oh yeah, killed him. Well, the, the... I've been seeing this a lot since I've been. Growing up and into my adult, I've been seeing this a lot with brothers. Wait, the very first brothers, their very first pair Ain't of brothers ever, yeah. that one brother killed the other? Killed his brother, that's right. I witnessed two twins that have a little brother, and they both, both of the tw older twin brothers were jealous of the little brother. I've, I've seen this more with the males than, than with the sis when sisters, with females, hmm. a lot. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, his brethren therefore said, okay, depart. Verse 4, excuse me. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret, and he himself seeketh to be known openly. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. These are his brothers saying, Yeah, going up there, show yourself to the world. So knowing that the Jews are the the Jews who are actually the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the ruling elites of the day that wanted to get him and try to kill him, put him to death, right? Uh, verse 5, for neither did his brethren believe in him. So this is what it says. Neither did his brothers, his true brothers, believe in him. Verse 6, then Jesus said unto them, my time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. So Jesus knew that it was his time. He had to die on the Passover day. This is the Feast of Tabernacles, which is the last holy day, last of set of holy year. days right. for the last holy of the year. So then after that, after the winter and the spring right. comes around and starts over again, the like the Passover. Holy day of the uh, last season of the last holy days of the year. Like the Feast of Tabernacles well, is the last one. Think about it. That's not good. But it's the last holy well, yeah, day yeah, of, yeah, the of the year. Uh, I'm thinking about Jesus year. Jesus calendar yeah. year. And then yeah, after yeah, after you go through the winter, because it's usually like around the uh the end of September, beginning of October October, the Feast right. of Tabernacles. Right. Then you got like then you got uh, November, December, January, February, end of March, beginning of April, Passover, and unleavened bread starts over again. That's the that's the at the Lord's calendar. Uh, for neither did his brethren believe in him. Then Jesus said unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. That means none of us know when we're gonna die. We don't know exactly when we're gonna die. Jesus knew exactly when he was gonna die. So our time is always ready. So we better be ready all the time because we never know. You walk outside right now and get hit by a bus, right? Yeah, I know. I had a, um, well. Pernell Whitaker just got hit by a car. Well, I know. I grew up with well, my mother's half-sister. It was uh, her brother, her half-sister's brother. Stepped out in the street, turned his head, got hit by the bus. No, I really, I know, but it actually, this was a true story that actually happened. Okay. Yeah. And this was the same guy that had a, uh, what you call the star thing on, on the floor? Uh, Pentagon on, on this bedroom floor. Oh, the, the, the goat star Covered thing? with the rug, yeah. The Satan mark thing? Yeah, he the... had a Pentagon on this floor, and it was covered with a rug. Yeah. I remember that. would be a, fooling around with that as stuff, a little man. girl. Well, he was a, he was a, he probably was about 20 in his 20s at that time. We were kids. We were little kids. Well, yeah. yeah. Mm. Verse 7. The world cannot hate you. This is Jesus still talking to his brothers. The world cannot hate you, but it hateth, but me it hateth because I testify of it. 
that the works thereof are evil. So that's why Jesus is hated because he exposes the evil deeds that are going on in the world. And people don't want to hear that. Anytime anything evil is exposed to hate. But then when something you. bad happens, <laughs> something bad happens to someone that they think is innocent, they go like, oh, how, how, how can that happen? Because the world is evil. The world is evil, don't you know? Look outside, read the news, and yeah, you see you that the world is evil. Sit back and look at the news. Look at the <laughs> look at all the stories on Facebook and Twitter. Look at the hate on Twitter, man. Look at the hate on Facebook and Facebook, stuff. Yeah. Look at all these YouTube videos and all the stuff. Look, look at the stuff in the world, just yeah, not just the, the United in the world. States and in, and locally in the world, in the world, the whole world. Period. Look at the famines and the pestilence and the wars and the greed and the the all of the stuff that's going on, the defaming and the accusing, wow. all the stuff that's going on in the world. Prejudiceness, well, that's general. The world is evil. This world is evil. Let's go to uh, <laughs> Mark chapter 13. Mark. It's not Luke, but it's like Mark. It's Mark Hamill. <laughs> Mark chapter 13, verse 13. Mark 13 and 13. I'm just going to read this one chapter. I mean, this one verse. <laughs> and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Yeah, so now I'm just reading what the books say. And we, we can look at the world for what it is. You should have closed out with that scripture. No, nah, I got one I'm going to close out on. Okay. And one I'm close out on. I, I got found another one I want to throw in there. We were talking about Jesus being hated, and uh, I want to. Uh, well, let's go to let's go to real quick. Romans chapter one, verse eighteen. Romans one, verse eighteen. I'm going to read eighteen through twenty three. Then I'm going to skip down to twenty eight. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. So there are some people that know this. The truth here but they're not giving it to man they're not giving it to the people and those are all these these false preachers that are out here a lot of these preachers that you see there on sunday they know what the truth is uh, but they're not going to give know, it to you that's right because i remember telling my i'm make it real clear i remember telling my grandmother uh well well you know um we you know we supposed to keep the sabbath day and uh so next time i saw her and then i, t I mentioned it to her she said yeah you know what i talked to my preacher about that and he said, yeah, but there was something else to it. Something, something else to something it? Something else to it. Like what? I don't know. She, 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 we didn't get to that hmm. far, that far. But she, she said, yeah, I talked to my pastor. And he, yeah, I did tell him. And he said, yeah, but there's something else to it. And he never told her what there's something else we don't know. I, I don't know. That was, well, yeah, it's like go back to Exodus 20 and verse 8. And read for it. Him to, no, it's not only that, but for him to say so f as far as he did, yeah, yeah, put it because uh, when you say yeah, oh, you agreed to something. I was talking to somebody the same thing. Something. I was telling somebody the same thing. I was like, you know, the Saturday is the seventh day. They're like, the Saturday's not the seventh day, it's Sunday. They're like, no, it's the seventh. Saturday is the seventh day. They're like, I want to ask my pastor. They went and asked their pastor, they came back. He's like, You're right, they said it's the Sabbath day. Mm. So they know, oh. they know. Oh, that's scary. But see, but what else do we read though? The pastors know they don't give it to the people one because they they want to just give the good news message because that's gonna make you pay, and people don't want to hear the truth. So it's, it both of them it's, it goes hand in hand. The people don't want to hear the truth. They're not gonna go and hear the truth to expose themselves and change their lives. I think I think some people do. Want some to people hear do. Hear yeah, the truth. some people do. That's why they go to church. But the pastor is afraid. It's him that's afraid. Of I don't even want to say her, but Look, him, if you want to be an inspiration, is afraid to tell the truth. Stop being. Here's the thing, Pastor. Stop being afraid. Tell the truth because your your congregation they looking for it. They yeah. are literally looking for it. If if you want to be an inspirational speaker, fine. Be an inspirational speaker. Give your good news message, but don't say this is the the word of the Lord God. You're not preaching what the Bible says, and don't. If you want to keep these false holidays don't say that these are holy days of god because they're not yeah, christmas, definitely. christmas easter it's not a holy day of god it doesn't have nothing to do with jesus or god or heaven halloween is not a holy day where was i at oh, oh let me start again 18 
For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Manifest, made obvious in them. For God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. You look up in the sky, where you clearly see the creation of the world. This stuff wasn't just made by some big boom. Being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Verse 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. So you go, you see like uh, this man hanging on a cross, you know, he's corruptible man, and to birds. You got people worshiping eagles and yeah. and four footed owls. beasts. Owls. You got people worshiping cows and bulls. Owls, O-W-L-S. Owls. I'm thinking about the Egyptian symbols and, mm -hmm. all that. and creeping things. What would people worship grasshoppers or caterpillars or butterflies? <laughs> butterflies, unicorns. Uh, unicorns aren't even real. I know, but they they worshiping it. <laughs> I'll check. I was talking to somebody. They were like, "How you know unicorns not for real?" Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What you been smoking? <laughs> Good. It's the same person was like, how you know her? Dude, that's my, grandma, my grandmother ain't never told himself <laughs> said she saw one. My mom, my granddad, his no, it's you know, same. all throughout my generation. I ain't, I ain't never heard anybody say they saw one. So no. you, you seen one? Let us know. The same person was like, How you know when there were no dragons? <laughs> oh. Like, man, they, they find all these like dinosaur bones. It's like, how you know is that a dragon bone? It's like, man, there ain't nothing, no dragons. There ain't no unicorns. The unicorn is in the Bible. Let's talk about a rhinoceros. Verse 28. <laughs> and even as they well, did not they, like. Where did the Chinese, where did, where, did, where did the Chinese people get the image of dragons? I don't know if it just came from China. You see that in like these medieval movies that they show. I know, but where did they get those images from? I don't know. People draw stuff. You make up stuff all the time. Look at these cartoon characters that's got like the minions. What's a minion? Yeah, you right. Okay. People just draw anything and make a creature. Okay. I just want to know. That's all. Verse 28. And even as they did not like to retain God and their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind, which means do you want to believe a lie and you. You see the truth. You want to ignore it. I believe you, Daddy. God's gonna say, "Go ahead and believe it." Right. I believe you, Daddy. That's not. The, I believe you. God gives you gives everybody a choice. Everyone can choose. You can choose for yourself. He's not gonna make you do nothing. Not gonna make you do nothing. Might put some stumbling blocks in your way, here and there. But you gotta repent on your own. You know, he's not gonna look at Cain. Cain killed his brother Abel. Did God kill him right away? No. He let him live. He had he had towns. He had families all after him. But they that, all got wiped up in the flood. That don't mean he ain't got them later. He didn't yeah. get them later. <laughs> but all of them got wiped out in the flood. All of them. And after that, he's going to wake him back up at, this, at the resurrection and then kill him again with the second death. That's another thing. That's another lesson we can do the second death. Verse 20, 29. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, in the middle of verse 28, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, sound like today, full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, sound like today, Nothing's malignity, whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, is our topic today, Jesus is hated was hated, is hated, haters of God, despiteful, proud bolsters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, without That's understanding. Really on the rise. <laughs> yeah, disobedient to parents. Without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. 
So you got the reprobate mind going. You're like, God's going to just let you keep on believing it. 1 John chapter 3, verse 11. 1 John, 1 John, 1 John chapter 3, verse 11 through 15. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, we were just talking about that, who was of that wicked one and slew his brother. And wherefore slew he him? Because his own works were evil and his brother's righteous. So just because he was evil, his brother was righteous, he killed his righteous brother. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. Marvel not if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Whosoever hateth his brother is a murderer, and ye know that no murderer hath eternal life abiding in him. It's hate. It's out here. The scripture I would want to find is uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Matthew 10 and 34. And this is, this is prophecy. This is prophecy. Jesus, people think Jesus came to like, um, to, uh, came to save the world. Okay, yeah. But they, they, they think Jesus came to love everybody. Listen to this. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that, this is Jesus talking. Oh, I love that scripture. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. So he didn't come to bring peace. Can't bring a sword. If you read in the Old Testament, Jesus is called is the God of war. Wow. Not Mars. <laughs> 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 for I am not, for I am come to set a man at variance against his father, and the daughter against her mother, and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and a man's foes shall be they of his own household. So by the dividing of but by, by this word, this true word out here. Some people are going to grab, grab hold of this word and try to tell others, and they're going to be hated for it. You're gonna, the first people you go back to that with this word are your family members. Yeah. <laughs> your family members. I got this word. I went back to my mama, my dad, and my brother. And he's, he's, with me, I was uh, um, telling my mom something about the word, about uh, uh, in Corinthians, when ladies not supposed to speak in the church. And my uh, one cousin was right there. The devil was right there, just trying <laughs> to just take my mother a different way. And I and I was just staying with it. I was on top of. It. I'm like, no, no. She's right because she made it. My cousin made a statement. She said, "Well, man, that that was in the Corinthian times." And I told her, "What makes you think those times is different from these times? It's the same thing, and it's in the Bible." Yeah, we in Bible days. No, I'm still my, supposed to follow the Bible. My family wasn't that harsh. They you know, they listened to me. They was like. No, they still do. No, that wasn't my, my mom. That, well, my mother was right there. I was uh, telling her about the word. I mean, my cousin, what what mm -hmm. good is present, evil is always around. Yeah, that's true. So my cousin was right, right there. I'm telling her the good word. And my cousin right there with the devil in her ear. And um, she like trying to tell her this way. And, and this ain't supposed to be in there. We ain't supposed to go by this anymore. And, like mm -hmm. the devil, you a lie. Yeah, you're a lie. People try to twist the scriptures any way they want to say you ain't got to do this thing anymore. And like, what I was saying, like, I, they actually listened to me, but they just didn't. They did not do what the book says. They're not doing what I, I'm trying to tell them. Not what I'm trying to tell them what the book says. They, it's not open. This. Let's put it like that. A lot of people's eyes are just not open to this. Well, just not. I, I noticed with your parents and uh, and unlike everyone else, is that they are longtime members of their church. Longtime members of their church. Yep. They've gone there for years. The first yep. church I started going to was their church. But then I started reading the people book get, and it was like right, but people get comfortable yeah. where they're at. I started reading the book and I was like, but wait a minute, the, the pastor isn't saying anything about what the, what does this book actually say? So that's how I started seeking this this word again, the truth. And reading the Bible for what it actually says, and then looking at what people do as far as they call themselves practicing Christianity. It's not what the Bible says you're supposed to be doing, and people don't want to change that. Luke chapter 22, verse 1. Now, the feast of unleavened bread. Wait a minute. <laughs> In the New Testament? Luke chapter 22, New Testament, they keeping the feast of unleavened bread. What? <laughs> Brother Bowie, learn something on your way to learn something. Now the Feast of Unleavened Bread drew nigh, which is called Passover. Now the Passover is like the 14th day of the first month. 
Feast of Unleavened Bread is the 15th day of Passover of, 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 the, of the first month. Those kind of got smushed together. They call it the Passover, Feast of Unleavened Bread, but it's actually two separate kind of holy days. You got the Passover, then you got the Feast of Unleavened Bread the last seven days, just to be clear. Go back to Leviticus chapter 23 and read it. Verse 2, and the chief priests and scribes sought how they might kill him. Who's him? Jesus. Jesus. For they feared the people. Like, why you want to kill him, man? What did he do to you? Oh, he, he exposed, exposed your wickedness. <laughs> he exposed your, your wickedness and your evilness. Uh, right. exactly. Exposed you. John chapter 3, verse 16. Everybody knows this one, right? John 3, 16. Did you see this at the sign in the football games? No, I haven't paid that any attention. It used to be in the football games. Someone in the end zone would have a sign up. John 3, 16. John chapter 3 verse 16. I, see, I'm not good with like the title John 3. I'm good with like knowing if you read that scripture. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I, I can kind of yeah. finish it off with for you. All right, you'll, as soon as I say it, you'll, uh, you, you'll know it. For God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his only begotten son. <laughs> see, I told you. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Not, not, not all you got to do. It says that whosoever believeth, not all you got to do is believe it. No, it says... What does that scripture got to do with football? It, nothing. <laughs> but, you know, people have their signs out there at the football game, yeah, you know, I mean, like the D and the fence. I can't even see anywhere where... Who shall ever call that was them always at the, to do with football. That was, someone would always have a John 316 sign at the football well, Maybe game. they're trying to send their message. Yeah, maybe okay. that's, that's, that's someone just like okay. taking an opportunity. Because you, you can see it on the news. Yeah. Like, okay, got it. Yeah. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Now, we're going to read a little bit more, though. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, not all you got to do, that whosoever believeth, not all you got to do is believe, but whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light is coming to the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest the deed shall be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. So we can't have lightness with light with darkness. As soon as you expose the light on somebody, they try to cover up their corruption, they try to hide that stuff. Or overcover it, or you know, they're not gonna admit it. We got one more place. Psalm chapter two. Verse 1, this is Jesus, was and is hated. Psalms and Psalm, chapter 2, verse 1. This is one of my favorite scriptures, one of my favorite verses, one of my favorite yeah, chapters here. Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. How many is that? Against the Lord Two. and against his anointed. I mean, that's three. <laughs> <laughs> against the Lord and against his anointed. That's oh. one, two. Let me see. Let me see. Oh. Get a calculator. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that's three. <laughs> if you have, okay, if three is Trinity, what's two? Duo, duanity, duanity. No. <laughs> Chapter or verse three, let us break. This is, these are the people. This is man saying, let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cords from us. They're telling, they're talking to each other. Let's get this Lord and his anointed. Let us break, break them from us. He that he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. They shall speak unto them. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and vex them in his sore displeasure. Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. I will declare the decree the Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee. Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the ut uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron, 
thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. This is a people, he's talking to the people that hate, hate God and is refusing his word and they're trying to fight against him. Be wise, therefore, O ye kings, be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Was the last time you heard that read in the Sunday church? Wow. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. So Jesus might be hated. That don't matter. He's coming back. And he's going to put that hate right back on you. He's going to put that hate on you. He's like, you can hate me all you want. The wrath is coming, man. So still coming. my suggestion, this is just my opinion, which it ain't worth nothing, but hey, I'm going to give it to you anyway because I got the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> just like it said, Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Repent. Turn your ways. Get back into the book, man. Listen to what the guy is saying. Don't, don't harden your heart to this word. No, don't be scared of it. Read the book of Revelation. Read the book of Daniel. Study this Bible. Don't just read those good, don't pick out your buffet scriptures here. Like you have the buffet. Oh, I want this. I want the chicken over here. I want that. I want that potato over there. Nah, all this book goes together. Yeah. All right. Read the whole thing and put it together. Go to go to a Sabbath day church and hear what the book actually says, topic by topic, scripture by scripture. Here a little, there a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. All right. That's right, Deacon Jeff. 